U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, along with other White House officials, met with Democratic congressional staffers on Saturday to try to end the government shutdown. But at the end of the day, no compromise was reached. Pence tweeting the talks were productive and will continue on Sunday. With a partial government shutdown now heading into its third week, Democratic leaders on Friday emerged from the White House after talks with President Trump no closer to ending a standoff over his demand for a wall along the border with Mexico. Newly elected House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling the talks contentious. We are committed to keeping our border safe. We can do that best when government is open. Thank you very much. Minutes later in the White House Rose Garden, President Trump putting it differently. So we had a productive meeting today. We're all on the same path in terms of wanting to get government open. The renewed talks coming one day after Democrats took majority control in the House of Representatives. The joint resolution is passed. As their first order of business, Democrats late Thursday passed a two-part spending package to reopen government, including $1.3 billion for border fencing and security, but not the $5.6 billion Trump wants for the wall, which Democrats firmly oppose. Senate Leader Mitch McConnell calling the bill a non-star Starter, even though the Senate approved identical legislation last month. The package presented by the House's new Democratic leaders yesterday can only be seen as a time-wasting act of political posturing. McConnell now facing mounting pressure from members of his own caucus to reopen government, especially from those who could be vulnerable in the 2020 election, including Susan Collins of Maine. Have you considered using emergency powers? Yes, I have. And I can do it if I want. But with Trump digging in his heels on his push for the wall Friday. We're not playing games. We have to do it. And the Senate now adjourned until Tuesday. An end to the shutdown is still nowhere in sight.